Today in the book lab, we're going to be taking a look at the titanium dragon. So the first thing you'll notice is that this design doesn't actually look like a titanium dragon, it looks more like an ice dragon. And the reason for that was that it was very hard to find the pieces that I needed in the correct colors. For example, the blue on the head and the silver for the body. A lot of the parts for the body are not available in silver, and substituting them for a light gray just wouldn't have been the same. It wouldn't have looked good. So what I did was settle for an ice dragon with some titanium splashes. So the hardest part was the head, and that, I feel, doesn't exactly capture the look of the titanium dragon, although I did try to get it as close as possible, what with the spike on the head here. And of course, as you can see, there's that, the ridge on the lower jaw, and of course the glaring eyes, which, I'll be honest, these do look very angry. And of course, we can see on the tail here that there are a lot of, there's a lot of titanium back here too, I added in the titanium spikes, and of course some light blue underneath just to keep up the ice motif or theme or whatever. And I added in a splash of trans light blue in several spots just to give it a more elemental dragony feel so that it's not just like a plain snowy ice dragon or something. And as you can see here, I also put in a few decorated Nexonite shields. Now I know that the Nexonite shields don't really belong in Ninjago, but I think they added a nice touch. Anyways, you can see here, I also kind of strayed from the design a bit by adding in some spikes here. I don't think the actual titanium dragon has any, but I thought they looked cool, so I put them in. And of course, there's also room for Zane to fit in. He has a nice built-in seat here. He can just sit behind that shield there and steer his dragon. And if you've been looking at the neck and the base of the tail for this, you're probably wondering why they look a little bit familiar. And the answer for that is that these parts and the tail come from the Master Wu Dragon. I also used parts from the legs for the Master Wu Dragon. But of course, I did change them up a bit, a little bit to, more to my taste. And of course, the wing structure... I also borrowed from the Master Wu Dragon. So all in all, this probably isn't the most accurate Titanium Dragon design, but I still think it f turned out fairly well, and it does look like a good design for Zane. Um, if you don't think so, feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think could be changed, or if you want a build tutorial for this, also feel free to let me know. Next week, I'll probably be straying away from the dragons for a little bit. I hope to have a new design out, one that I'm a little bit excited about. Stay tuned and find out what it is. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that mock video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and also feel free to leave a comment in this comment section below, because what else would you use it for? Don't answer that. Anyway, I am Sam, and I will see you next time. Okay, that, that's enough. We could turn it off.